guys, it's Miss Lady Lace here on my Glamour channel and today I have for you my next pinup posing series video where today we're going to be working on some basic leg lines to assist in your pinup posing both on stage and in photographs even for your selfies at home. There are absolutely no rules when it comes to posing as a pinup, though I do have my own personal preferences and ways that I like to teach. So take what I say as guidelines rather than strict rules. We'll get straight into today's video. We're gonna start with our classic position, which is either known as our classic pinup pose or our classic burlesque pose. We're gonna start from the feet up, so we're going to bring our heels together, toes turned out in a first position. We're going to bend one leg forward and hug that together. This creates our classic bevel leg line and the important factors to this is we want to make sure our supporting leg is turned out. If we have this turned in, it makes us look like we need to go to the bathroom, which is why we start in that first position. So we bend that leg in. Our next important thing for our front foot is making sure that toe is pointed or on demi point. If it's sitting flat, it doesn't create that same glamorous look. So we're pointing that toe up, we're hugging our knee over and making sure that knee stays as far over as possible. We want to avoid it coming back open, especially if we're wearing lingerie or swimwear. It can be just a little bit too crotch forward, so we're hugging that in to create that hourglass bevel shape. We're not focusing too much on our upper body, but we can simply just put our hands on our hips or create different posing lines around from here. It's completely up to us. In our classic position, we do have a few variations. So we can have the leg quite close. We can open that up by extending that leg forward. We can bring it more to the side. We can take that leg a little bit further back. It's all about having a play and seeing what works best for you. We'll also practice our basic pinup pose to the opposite side. We can start in our first position if we need and bring the opposite leg in front, hugging that and playing around with different leg positions, seeing what looks best for you. Now we're going to go into position two, which is a balancing pose. So it definitely takes a little bit more practice. We can either kick our leg up or we can bring that leg into our other leg to help us balance. We can play around with a few different variations to see which looks best for us. If you're in a photo shoot, your photographer can count you in three, two, one, pose and that way you just have to hit that for that one moment on stage this could be a quick hit the motion and then go back down and have a bit of fun from there whenever we do a balancing pose it's important that that foot coming off the floor stays pointed even if you're in a high heel try and go to a demi point position as best as possible if we flex our foot it doesn't quite look as glamorous when we're balancing so if we point that foot to balance it does create a much more glamorous look. To make balancing a little bit easier, we want to activate our core and our gluteus maximus. If you just take one leg up and practice these things, it'll help activate and keep you strong and supported. Your ankle is also going to be a really important element. The supporting leg on the floor needs to be strong and supported, otherwise we might fall out to the side. I do have a pinup fit video where I do some ankle strengthening exercises, which is really great for high heels and working on your balancing poses and turns. For pose number three, we're gonna go into a second position. So this is where we take our feet wider apart and we can put our hands onto our hips and we can play around with some different angles in this position, playing with some poses, seeing what looks best. I find from our second position, it's good to push our hips out, move our body around and see what looks good. Just staying upright like this it's cute, especially if we're doing like a powerful pose where we're looking dead on at the camera. I find it's good to create some fun angles through our hips and pushing that around. We can also take our second position and angle that so we can angle aside to the camera. We can angle towards the back of the room so we're still in a slight angle and looking back towards the camera. There are no limitations to what you can do in these positions. For our fourth and final pose, we're going to go into a lunge, which can be in many variations. This is similar to our first position, but we have all our weight on one foot and we're extending one out to the side. And this can go much deeper into the lunge, depending how we'd like to do this. This pose is best done from our classic burlesque position. And with our front leg, we're just gonna extend that out to the side. Again, ensuring that our foot is pointed, we can play around with turning it out 
or turning it in a little bit more, seeing what suits our body best. It is a bit more of a balanced pose again as I can pretty much lift this leg as all my weight is on my supporting leg, though the toe can touch or be on demi point to further support me. This is one we can pop onto some angles, have a bit of a play. It's also a part of my classic pin up pose series where we do our Rita Hayworth inspired pose where it looks like we're almost dancing. We can take that to the other side and have a little bit of a play from here see what looks good with our body. Again, we can do these in any variation so we can face the back, lunge out and look back at the camera for something a little bit different. It's always worth noting whatever is closest to the camera will look the largest. So whatever we angle forward, we want to ensure that it still looks fabulous, but it can't hurt to try it out in a photo shoot. In a photo shoot, we'd just be moving through these different positions and having a little bit of fun from here. But if you were, but if you're on stage, moves like our lunge can actually lunge out and in, and we can move around from here. When utilizing our second position on stage, we can make this quite dramatic. So we could be walking around on stage going into our classic position and then strike a pose and this has a lot of power and energy to it so it's worth having a little bit of a play with it on stage especially if you want to really exude confidence when moving our first position is always a great place to start both on stage and in photographs whenever i do a photo shoot i often start in my classic leg line and then begin to move around from here and see what looks fabulous with that photographer. These have just been a few of my favorite classic leg lines that you can utilize both in photos and on stage. There are no limitations to what you can do though and your imagination, creativity and research can further add to what you do as a pinner. I truly hope you've enjoyed today's video and found it a little bit useful. If you have, be sure to give it a like and a comment as that really does help me out. And if there's any pin up posing videos you'd like to see or any other videos that you'd like to see, do let me know in the comments below. If you'd like early access to these videos, exclusive content to help support me here on YouTube and to get access to my online burlesque classes, I do have my Glamour community on Patreon. I'd like to thank all my patrons, but especially my VIP Glamour patrons and burlesque students the support you give me truly helps me in creating more here on YouTube. To follow my daily pinup adventures, I post super regularly to Instagram and TikTok. I'll pop a little link here as well as at the end of the video. And to never miss out on my vintage fun, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and I'll be seeing you all real soon.